I'm Patrick Bailey with IQLA. Today is June 4th, 2022, and in this video, I'm going to go over a remix I have done of Cisco's Flexi Pliers, which I think are really cool. Really good example of compliant mechanisms. In fact, I have done three remixes, so I got all kinds of little cool stuff I'll have to show off here. And I've done all the remixes in Open SCAD, so they can be adjusted again. So I think they're pretty cool. Let's go over it. Okay, compliant grabber. So first I'm gonna show Cisco's, this is not mine. Uh, so he's the one who originally designed this and I'm just basically remixing his design. It's a great design. In fact, uh, one of the ones I put up, he's like, oh, I gotta go try this one out. He does great designs. I like a lot of stuff he does. So go check him out. He has like foldable boxes. This is really cool and really neat. Uh, but for my purposes, I had two ideas. One, you can see he's got these um, rods right here and they can move like that and I was thinking, I don't think you need that. I think you can probably just make a direct compliant mechanism and have it work. So that's what I did. This is basically a copy and open as CAD, except for I replaced those. There's no more rods. It's just gonna be, it's just connected and stiff. And if I overlap them, you can see, hopefully. No, no way. Oh. If you put the white background behind it. Yeah. Okay, let me, I'm getting some camera direction so we can, you can see it's an exact mm -hmm. match. So I'm pretty much exactly matching his dimensions so I can get the similar results. And it works really well. It works, and I think it, uh, I don't, I think this simplifies a little bit and I don't think you need, I don't think you need that, so it works. But then I have the homeschool conference coming up pretty quickly. Um, and this, you know, we'll go over the details, but this takes a couple hours to print, which is fine for yourself or for showing off, but what happens if you wanna make a hundred or a couple hundred to give away. So, since I did it all in Open SCAD, I made it, I planned on making it so I could put variables in here. So I made this one thinner. So first of all, you know, thinner, uh, which is not ideal for yourself, but for handing hand it out to a bunch of kids, we're gonna use it for an hour and then, you know, they might toss it, not a problem. And so I got this one out here, which works pretty well. Oh, in fact, I think I redesigned this one. This one's one of my intermediate prototypes, I think, because it doesn't go all the way back. But same idea, we just kind of narrowed it down. But then, I've, more and more and more tweaks, what I did is, since I made it so small, I don't think we need those two extra arms in there. I think in this case, one's more than enough. In fact, I think having that extra one will make it not last as long. So this is the version two I have, and I think it works pretty well. And we'll go over the details on this, but if I remember right, I think this one was about 18 minutes to print, but we'll see. Scoot back a little so you can... There you go. <laughs> I'm getting some camera, more camera guidance. Okay, so there's that, because we're just trying to simplify it. And that's about as simple as I can get it. I think that'll help me so I can get a bunch printed out um, and also I think having this longer arm is better and not having that there because I, I think it, because it's so small, I remove one of those potential points where I get more fatigue. So in fact, not only did I think for a smaller size, not only did I think I made this cheaper and faster, I think I actually made it better by removing the extra arm. So, but we'll see when I hand about a hundred of these out to a bunch of kids at a conference, we'll see how, we'll see how long they last. Um, we'll see. Uh, oh, but also with that, just to kind of show prototyping, I have all these prototypes. So I had to go through a bunch of different ideas and a bunch of different angles and a bunch of different stuff. Uh, quick example, you see I put this right there. So you can show that right there on the edge. And guess what mm -hmm. broke pretty quick. Mm -hmm. So that being so close, there's a lot of little things like that. So prototype away, test them. I tried to even go thinner, but that just, you can get too thin. So, a lot of prototypes that are gonna get recycled during a minute, but I th I'm happy, I think it's pretty cool. I'm really, I am really happy with that. And I think a bunch of kids will be too. So with that, let's go over the details and go over the numbers. Okay, let's show some URLs and get into the numbers. So, the whole inspiration for this, the origin, it, or origin is from Cisco. Flexi pliers, print and place toys. And here's the, the link uh, for unprintables, and I'll put it in the show notes too. It's a great design. Go go down there, copy it, print it out. It's great. He's also got a new modern, more modern one, which I don't have a link to right now, but go check out his profile. There's one. It's a little bit newer. I just printed it out the other day. It's pretty cool. 
So he keeps tweaking it. He's got some other, he's got some other really great designs, so go check him out. Uh, now as for mine, here's the bigger one. Uh, the OpenSCAD Compliant Grabber, and I think I also put the OpenSCAD file out here, hopefully. Yeah, there you go. So there's the OpenSCAD. You can go grab that, fiddle with it to your heart's content. Uh, then I got the tiny one, which has the two, and I don't really like this one anymore. So, But it's still up there. You can go grab it, and the OpenSCAD's in there too. But then I like this one. So here's the version two, so much smaller. Well, not much smaller, but I removed the other one. I think this one's going to last longer. So we'll see. Uh, but with that, let's go over all the fun numbers. So for the big one, my version, uh, it took two hours and seven minutes to print. It took 1.9 cents electricity, and it weighs 0.012 kilograms, pretty small. So at $20 per kilogram, that comes out to 20, 24 cents for the material. So all in, 26 cents to print this guy, which is not bad. In fact, this is the one I would suggest normally printing. It's a little bit bigger. It's going to last longer. Uh, this is probably one you'd hand out to friends and family uh, or, or the one from Cisco. Both are real good. Uh, but if you're going to a homeschool conference and you need to save time and get as many as you can, although, you know, this one's grown on me, so I think I'm starting to like this more. It's a little bit more compact. I don't know. I don't know. The big one, little one. Big one, little one. I don't know. I like to, maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm changing my mind. Maybe I'm liking a little one more now. Uh, but it's a small one. <coughs> it took 34 minutes to print. It took 0.5 cents electricity, and it weighs 0 0.0048 kilograms. And at twenty dollars per kilogram, comes out to 9.6 cents. So all in to print this little guy is about 11 cents. In fact, almost nearly 10 cents. I like to round up. Uh, so with that in mind, I'm going to try to print at least 100 for the show to hand out. And so that's going to cost me a whole whopping 11 bucks to hand out a bunch of these little kids. 100! And I think it'll be, I think it'll be a big hit. Um, now, you know, keep that in mind. If you wanted to print, you know, a roll, two kilogram, a kilogram roll, you know, because uh, you, you probably almost get 200 out of, a kil out, of a, out of a roll, and that's pretty cool. So maybe I'll go for 200. We'll see. We'll see. But we'll see how everyone takes to this. I know I've handed a few out to my son, to my daughter, to their friends, and they've been playing with them. So I think it's going to be a good hit. And also, I think it's a good example if you want to teach people about compliant mechanisms, which was the intention of Cisco when he put this out here. Uh, that it just teaches, it's just a simple example to kind of get the idea of what a compliant mechanism is. So more to come on all that. I like these compliant mechanism ideas. So with that, let's wrap this guy up. So. Uh, with a reminder that 3D printing is an engineering adventure that you're on. You can develop your skills and knowledge, and you can take this in so many ways. You can make a business out of this. You can teach others, and you can make some amazing designs. So, design it, engineer it. The fridge magnet challenge is over, and I had a lot of fun making a few magnets. I had more fun seeing other folks' idea. One I liked a lot was Zell's toggle magnet. Go check it out if you've not seen it. I really hope it wins. I liked it so much, I made an OpenSCAD version myself that is a little bit bigger. And I already posted it on printables. I probably will do a video on it in the next few weeks.